Oh, we <laughs> what it do, baby? What it do? Hey, but we got some tea in here today. Well, y'all gonna want to come here for this? Like, yo, hey man, first off, man, oh, I appreciate everybody that's been tapping in with me. I appreciate the support, y'all. If you ain't hit that subscribe button yet, please take a second to hit that subscribe bell for your boy. I'm um. I also am open for personal reads, y'all. If y'all want to come book your personal reads, everything going to be down in the description box. All right, so look, first off, let's go ahead and jump into this thing. Okay, first card, we got a crony, y'all reading. We got the Eight of Earth or the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So somebody feeling like somebody's not putting work towards something. Somebody could be feeling like they're giving up on something, not putting effort towards something. Um, It's kind of weird, guys. I'm, uh, I'm going to upload my the video to YouTube for TikTok, too. It's kind of sort of saying the same thing. I just seen 4-4 on the phone. Some of y'all may want to go look that up and see what it means. It could be a message for some of y'all. But um, uh, it's almost like this person is in this place where, they, where they're not even putting the work towards something. Maybe they can be feeling like they're giving up on something. You know what I'm saying? But look, let's go ahead and jump into it. First card we got over here is the Two of Fire. Y'all know the Two of Fire card is like my court card. Somebody could have been going to court for something. Somebody could have got arrested for something. The reason I say that, because we the clarifying cards that was clarifying the Two of Fire, we got we got the uh, we got the whore phase. You know, we got it in reverse, though. And uh, we got the jail prison in time. So maybe some somebody could be possibly be uh, going to court or maybe getting out of jail, maybe maybe for maybe for set for some type of uh, prostitution, maybe selling selling their body for something. You feel what I'm saying? Look, they definitely somebody was definitely having sexual encounter. Now, all these cards popped out back to back. Yeah, do y'all see that? You got the uh, the age phase, jail, prison time, and then you got sexual encounters with multiple people. So this part, I feel like y'all y'all dealing with somebody that was trying to fulfill something. Maybe because maybe them got maybe they don't feel your your energy. Maybe this person needed money or something. You know what I'm saying? I don't judge nobody. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I got a whole hustler mentality. So if I'm sitting here and I got kids to feed, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I ain't even gonna tell y'all, you know, what, what I would and would do if I was in their shoes. Because, you know what I'm saying? I don't been in it. I don't have to do things that I didn't want to do to get money. You feel what I'm saying? Sometimes people got to do what they got to do to get by. You know, I don't judge no fucking body. You feel what I'm saying? And, I, and, and don't come on my page. If you want to brush my read, don't come on here judging nobody because everybody don't have to don't be in a place where they need it to do something and maybe didn't have it for their family, their kids, or whatever. You feel me? I will block your ass straight up. But anyways, whoever this person is, man, you know what I'm saying? Oh, somebody had, somebody, I feel like somebody had, somebody went to jail for something, you know what I'm saying? Or possibly, possibly uh, trying to, but uh, I feel like, I feel like for the for the bigger part, this was somebody that, that was probably more so in it for the entertainment. I feel like the, the, the money was just a, a perk. You know, you couldn't be dealing with somebody that was, that was materialistic. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that was very, very into the material world. But like I said, they could have just been doing it just to try to get money to, to feed their family. Whatever the situation was, I feel like somebody is just, uh, they either going to court for that now or they probably just got done going to court for that. But uh, it was a bigger part, man. I feel like in, in, in another end, this was almost also a karma effect. Because I feel like this is somebody where spirit had been trying to push this person towards you. I feel like you had means, if you didn't have means, spirit was probably telling this person, you know, like, hey, re reach out to your person, go towards your person, and you guys can figure something out. Like, not only would they not be, they be able to help you and heal you, you, you guys can, if you got, by you guys working together, you guys can come out of this, out of this situation because you guys are meant to be together anyways. You have ancestral rewards together. I told y'all before, if you've been looking at the comments or checking out my TikTok, y'all, it was unions that was happening months and months ago when these people came in, they was receiving large ass checks the next day, like the same night. And I was like, I didn't even believe in myself until, <laughs> until these people said to me the proof. They like, hey, see, I'm telling y'all, one person came in, they got a check the next damn day. And these were big ass checks. You know what I'm saying? So I'm seeing her like, I feel like this is what, what spirit had been telling this person. I feel like this was a karmic effect because they were stuck in their ego. You know what I'm saying? They were trying to, they were trying to feel like they were trying to get their own way and not listen to spirit. And spirit was telling them that by them being in this place, not only was they doing it because they were trying to keep their mind and energy away from you guys, you know, trying to just just for the fulfillment. But it's like the the, the like I said, I feel like for the, a lot of them, the money was 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 just an extra incentive. I feel like they was they was doing it for the satisfaction or you know just for the fulfillment. You know, but what they they may got caught up into a wrong situation where it made a start for fulfillment. But this person was like, hey. I, I shoot some bread, and they probably didn't know what they they probably know this person was maybe undercover or something like that. You feel what I'm saying? But that's how it all, and that could have been how they got into this position. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, oh, I feel like this could have just been a karmic effect for this person because spirit was telling this person just go to your person, and you guys can figure out if you if this person was going through a hard time. You know what I'm saying? By them coming to you, they would have not only solve one problem, but probably solve every issue that they was going through, even the fact that they was feeling alone. Because like some of these people was 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 dealing with karmics. It, now the crazy part about this is, the 
the karmic could have had could have been in on this person on your person excuse me the karmic could have been in on your person doing this you know getting caught up into this whether your person whether the karmic could have set, set the, the sexual encounter up and the money, like I said, the money probably came as an incentive. They probably been on the back end, like you know, it really was just for the sex, for the pleasure, of all of them. But they were like, hey, somebody probably like, hey, I, 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 I pay this too. You know what I'm saying? However, the situation is, I feel like the karmic had something to do with this too. You feel me? If you feel what I'm saying, it could have just been something where this, where, the, where your person and the karmic probably got was was into this type of lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the situation is. But I feel like, uh, uh. This person had an awakening in this time frame, but that they was going through this court situation, you know, and and and, and it kind of woke their ass up. Like it, it was it, that that's what it was meant to do. That's the spirit said that spirit said right. They, so they, that's exactly what it was meant to do. They said, well, you look at the clarifying cards. They said the karmic is trying to hold me from leaving. That is how this person. That is how I just seen five five five. That could be how the karmic was keeping them from leaving by keeping them caught up into sexual addictions, keeping them caught up into things that they feel like this person was going to be hard. It was going to be hard for them to shake. Your person could have just been a sex addict, could have just loved sex, you know, or could have been a, a particular type of sex, whether it was oral sex, your person could have loved oral sex. You know what I'm saying? So you, you karmic going to constantly kind of, kind of feeding them this lust to keep them stuck. But just so happened that your, your person end up getting caught up into this situation, because I can guarantee you, I guarantee you before this situation happened, something hit, something came to your person and on your person's spirit, they did not feel comfortable doing this situation. And I honestly feel like, you know, if, if your person was is open to you, you know how, how these people are like, they're going to tell you the truth. They're going to be open with you. You know what I'm saying? You know, but you know, when, once you guys do uh, you know, align, because I feel, I don't, I honestly don't feel like this is going to keep you guys from aligning. Despite the fact this is the crown of energy where this person may be giving up and not wanting to put work into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know, you know, your person could be watching this video you know, and, 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 and probably knowing that, you know, like I said, people go through things, you know, and, and, and you may not be a judgmental person. And, and, you may, may, and this may situation may just be the reason why they're holding back, not in the fact that they feel like you're going to judge them. It's just that this particular situation. But once they get this, this spiritual confirmation that, you know, that you are still open to them, like you, you're not in a place of judging them. You actually want to help heal them. Then, you know, they're going to they're gonna move, you know, and I honestly feel like they're going to get comfortable enough when you guys get together and get the bun and talking and start healing. They're going to tell you this situation. And I feel like they, they're going to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Because this person said, y'all, y'all, uh, the memories that you guys have had together hunt them all day. And that's another reason why I feel like this person was indulging in all these sexual activities because they were trying to run from your energy, man. Y'all energy is so, so damn powerful. Y'all energy is so powerful. Now, I'm thinking about it like this. Imagine you got you got your person being this powerful entity, right? Having these sexual, you know, encounters with these people that all these low vibrational energies, right? Imagine imagine the things your person your person probably manifesting on their own, or if you if you if this is your energy, imagine the things that you manifest on your own by yourself. Imagine what the hell you and your person can manifest together. Two high vibrational energies. Imagine what y'all can manifest together. I just I think I just said the same thing on my on the on my TikTok. Imagine what you guys can manifest together. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like this is what spirit trying to get to get trying to push this person into. Whether this person is going through hardship, whether they're gonna need any healing, whatever. Spirit is like, yo, you don't have to worry about that if you get with your damn person. Like we, <laughs> like we trying to tell your ass, dude, what you ain't listening. You everything is gonna fall in line. It don't matter what it don't matter. Listen to me. It don't matter what the hell you dealing with. Your person is dealing with. When y'all get together. And you know, like, and, and, and I'm speaking more so not even from just a stand of, 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 you know, sitting down, praying, manifesting, like even with sex magic. Y'all together with y'all sex magic, man. Y'all do y'all know how powerful sex magic is? When we ain't talking about when you did when you dealing with a low vibration energy, because that's that that type of magic can backfire. I'm talking about when you dealing with two high vibrational energies that 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 love each other, that actually want to nurture each, each other. I just seen 911 again. Man, this is the second time I've seen this um, um with the other reading too. But so y'all may want to go look that up. But I'm talking about two high vibrational engines, man. Y'all could man, universe is gonna give y'all whatever the hell y'all want, man. But I excuse me. I feel like your person had to go through this to wake them up and probably had to sit them down so that they can realize what's you know, realize what's going on around them. Spirit saying it's time to show the world the real you. If this is you and this energy right here. This is why you coming to get this read. This is your confirmation. Do not be afraid to move forward with your person just because of this situation right here. Because they're not going to judge you. Your person loves you for you. 
Y'all are y'all you 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 guys are literally a mirror reflection of each other. Just the same way you thinking about. It. And honestly, be honest with you, you think this person don't know what, what you're going through? <laughs> Let's just be honest. You really don't think this person can feel what you're going through? Stop playing. Stop playing. Some of y'all people gonna call y'all out and go and go, they're gonna be sitting back waiting to see if you're gonna tell them the truth. But this is the point of time where spirit is telling you to be open with them. Don't allow your fear to, to hold you back. Don't allow the fear to hold you back because that's what that's what the, the negative energies want you to do. They want you to hold on to things like this so that greatness will never happen. They try they, they want you to hold on to things like this so that you don't reach this win-win outcome, huh? They want you to stay stuck in your pride, your ego. That's what they want you to do so that this so that this new romantic cycle never begins. So that the scales never become balanced. I'm seeing two Leo cards out here. Let me see what all we got out here. We got Leo. I mean, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, too, I'm seeing two Libra cards. We got Libra. We got Leo out here. We got Aquarius. Huh? We got two of fire, which can be um, Leo, Sag, um, um, or uh, Aries. We got Earth card. We got two Earth cards crowning the reading. So, you, so man, we do, I think we damn near got everything out here. No, it's still water. We don't got water, so we got Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So some of you guys either this sign or, or you could be um, dealing with these signs. But we got we definitely got two earth signs and we got two uh two uh wait, three air signs but two Libra. You feel what I'm saying? But this is this is what spirit is trying to push you guys past because spirit knows that you feel alone. Spirit knows that your person is feeling alone. And I feel like that's and honestly, look, I, and that, that, it's so crazy because I ain't even get to this card. It said you ready for a vacation. So for a lot of you, your your person has had an awakening through this situation. Your person has had an awakening. This so crazy because this same card popped out over on, on the TikTok too. So whoever this person is, man, they are very, very, and you know what's so and, and the even more weird part is because this may be a person that when you guys talk, this person is probably always honest with you. It don't matter what they doing, what they how they doing it, even with they they darkest secrets, they probably tell you. So it's like spirit kind of confused. Like, why, why are you like, why, why are they allowing this to hold them back now to make them think that it's gonna work? But even when they, when, even when they was going through these type of situations, they was probably always open to you guys before you guys even maybe got into a union when they, when, when you guys were maybe just friends. Cause I feel like some of you guys were friends first. You know, spirit like man, you this person you was already telling this person your deepest secrets before. You know, so now you feel like it's a love there. You want to stop? No. That's how friendships are built. That's how friendships are built and mended. That's how friendships are made. So I feel like for some of you, your person was always honest with you. So that's why I don't, that's why I feel personally, this situation is not going to stop them. It's not going to stop this. This may just be a, oh, how they feeling right now. But like I said, if they come into the, to this rig, I guarantee they're going to have a change of heart because some of them, they already in that place. They already wanting to come for, towards you anyways. So they're saying you ready, they, 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 they say you ready for vacation, no private time alone. So this person is to me that's sitting find that this person is still about to about to uh, come to you. So maybe they had this own awakening that the fact that that something is trying to keep you guys apart. Because they know that they love you. They know that that they know that you two are destined to be together. They know that. And for someone like I said, like I said, they, they was in a very prideful place. They're putting their pride to the side. Because they can't get over the memories of y'all. Even the future memory, like spirit, don't even gave this person future memories that y'all gonna build together, and they and, and they feel it in their heart and soul. They feel it. They're not they're not finna allow whatever this situation to hold them back. Somebody could have been trying to use this to hold over their head, huh? Spirit probably came to them and showed them like man, like like man, just go talk to your person. You don't they 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 are you don't told them everything you don't you don't about damn near did. You think they gonna care about somebody trying to come and throw a wrench at y'all if you go into them sincere? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> That person ain't gonna care about that shit because they know this person already this because y'all know that they the way what this person was dealing with y'all y'all was put there to help them heal to help them heal past these things so yeah so yeah some of y'all these karmics that they know who y'all they gonna try to come and y'all just seen fourteen fourteen gonna try to come at y'all with some bull but y'all ain't gonna be going for this shit y'all don't care y'all don't care yet a lot of y'all ain't even gonna feed into it and I suggest you not feed into it because they only doing it to try to stop you guys from moving forward. You feel me? So whoever this energy is, if you are in this place, if this is you, spirit saying, show the word of real you. You don't have to be in this place. You don't have to be worried about, you don't have to hold back or feeling like it's not going to work out. Spirit know you alone. Spirit know that you don't have nobody genuinely. They're trying to give you that, but they can't do it if you want to, if you're using every excuse around you to not move forward. 
They can't do it. Especially when they're telling you that you got a win-win outcome. Huh? Ain't nobody, Spirit not expecting you to be perfect. Y'all person not even perfect. They done did things too. You feel me? Don't 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 let that be a reason why you don't move forward. Don't let that be a reason why to keep you standing or lose hope and faith in something so beautiful. We all we all don't been through things. We all go through things. That's life. You feel me? But it ain't about how you start. It's about how you end. Let me say that again. It's not about how you start. It's about how you end. And right now you showing me just by me me feeling the energy from this car that you want greater for yourself, that you want better for yourself. So let that be your motivation. Let that be the push. Because right now we're in alignment season. And you and you guys know, like, I had a, a, a car popped out on the other one where they said somebody was having dreams or somebody moving along with somebody else, that, which could be another reason why they're feeling like this is not going to move. But the only reason they're having they, they in the energy is because you in this energy. What you put out is what you're going to receive. But you got everything beautiful right here. Spirit, only thing spirit is telling you is don't let your pride get in the way. Because pride kills anything. Especially when you got a new romantic cycle that's about to happen for you. Don't allow this. Spirit knows you alone. Spirit know that you may be having some type of situation going on. It don't matter. It don't care. Show the world the real you. Show this person the real you. This is action phase. We're in the 8 portal. Y'all know that. This is action phase. Ego death. Putting these past things behind you. Don't don't who who cares what the fuck this karmic gonna try to use. Negative negative gonna always try to bring gonna, gonna try to bring negative when they trying to hold somebody back. But I guarantee you it's not gonna work. But you gotta believe in your intuition. You gotta trust in yourself and what your spirit is showing you. All right. All right, so look, I appreciate everybody that came to uh time in with your boy. I appreciate the support, y'all. I appreciate the love. If you ain't hit the subscribe button yet, please hit the subscribe button. I am open for personal reads. Y'all make sure y'all come tap in with your boy, man. Whoever this person is right here, man, I'm proud of you. I don't care. I'm telling you I'm proud of you for the fact that you decided to do this despite what you've been going through. All right? It takes a lot of heart. It takes a lot of courage. And you can do it. All right? Let's go.